Hey there, guys. I guess I'm gonna do this as a vlog. Uh, just kind of chilling, trying to work on a bunch of stuff. I had my my longest day of the week was today, so um, that was quite the day. So now I'm just kind of kicking back, relaxing at home. I thought I'd make some videos for you guys. I put up one about my Etsy sale and one about these new lip palette things. So check those out. Other than that, I had a long, frustrating day. Um, first I was talking to a girl that I hadn't been friends with for a long time but we're talking again and friends again and it's it's really nice to be able to be like that and she told me something quite interesting about someone who kinda backstabbed me I guess so I got to be pretty pissed off about that and talk to the girl who said it and that was quite the situation if you follow me on Twitter you'll know what that's all about you'll kinda understand I suppose so yeah hit up Twitter and see why I get angry then I figured I better go get my cosmetology stuff done I did graduate cosmetology school I'm done I've been done I just have been slacking on getting my license because I'm a slacker I guess <laughs> um, it's just been I don't know, it's kind of hard for me because they're, that industry and the industry I'm in right now are really hard to get yourself established, get your feet really planted. And I'm finally getting really good and established in the tattoo industry and it's so frustrating because I have to start all over in the hair industry. So it's like, I sit, sat here and busted my butt for so long to get up in one industry and now I have to start from the bottom in another and it's just it's really really stressful so I haven't been getting around to it I've just been trying to put it off and try not to deal with it but I need to get it done because at this point March 12th my technical exams expire and so I need to get my stuff in for my license before then, otherwise I have to pay and retake my technical exams. And I'm not entirely sure that I could pass them now, being that I haven't studied for so long. And, you know, I really want to do the cosmetology thing, it's just like right now is not the perfect time in my life for it. So, unless there was some way to combine them, which for me right now there isn't. So it's like, I feel stuck and just don't know what to do. And I got everybody pushing me in every which direction. And I just want it to be done. So actually a couple months ago I called my cosmetology teacher and told her please have this stuff ready for me so I could pick it up and mail it out and be done. I asked her, is there anything you need me to get? Nope, got it all under control, got it all handled, I got it. Show up, she's like, well, you needed to bring this paper. Why couldn't you tell me I needed to bring that paper when I asked you to? No, she couldn't do that. So, I'm kind of flustered with that. I'm going to start painting again. I really, really miss painting. And just all of the on the side art stuff I used to do. I used to do a lot of. I like to draw portraits, pencil. So I will draw some of those and post them for you guys so you can see. I've done some as tattoo work. 
So I have some photos of those. So, like if you're on my Facebook, I just did one recently of a little boy holding up a tiger. It was so cute. I really, really enjoyed doing that one. And the guy was so sweet because, like, as soon as I finished it, he left, and I was booked for the day, so as soon as he was gone, I had to do another one. Like, it's been super busy lately. So, I'm doing the next one, and the shop gets a call, and my sister's, like, giggling, and she kept looking at me, and she's just giggling. And she's like, yeah, yeah, call back and tell her that. Call back and tell her. She'd love to hear it. And apparently the guy had called back to tell me that I had done such a good job, and he was so excited, and he really loved it. So I was just really, really excited, because when someone really likes it, it's, it just means a lot to me. And I've been thinking that, like, if any of you watch LA Inc., Kat Von D keeps a journal of every tattoo she does and, like, meaning about it. So I kind of want to, I don't do, it's kind of a bummer because everybody has a little bit of their own story to their tattoos, but I end up doing so many of the same thing because we're in a little college town. But I really, really love when I get to do something new and unique and someone lets me branch out. So what I think I'm going to do is write, I'm going to turn my blog into more of a tattoo related thing. So, for those of you that are looking for me to write beauty stuff in there, you know, I might once in a while, but I think I want to change it into a tattoo thing. Um, and kind of share a picture of the tattoo and my interactions with the client. Like, I had one today that really, like, the people were amazing people. And I got lucky to have them as a client because they were going to be going to another shop, but the other shop was extremely rude and treated them really poorly. So they came to us. And I felt, like, so excited and happy and honored that they decided to come to us for it. And then the kid's telling me what his tattoo means. And, like, there was just one specific thing about the tattoo that meant so much. So much to him. And at the other place they went, they told him it was stupid and they couldn't do it. And the boy had explained to them how much that meant. And they told him, no, that's dumb. H how can you be someone to judge that? And, like, if you heard what it was, it's just, like, it's so intense. It does mean a lot. It, it is a huge thing. So I'm going to kind of turn my blog into that. Because, I mean, like she says, it's hard because you end up playing a therapist. People don't get portraits of someone for fun. They get it because it means something serious to them. Um, and a lot of people get tattoos because it means something big. So, it ends up, you know, I think that's kind of why I have some really up days and some really, really down days. It's because it gets hard to listen to them all the time and then you don't have anybody to vent on that understands. And it's like, I've had some where I just want to go and spend some alone time downstairs because we have a basement in our shop and I just want to go sit down there and be like everybody leave me alone and go away but I think it'd be really cool to share that with you guys um, some of the things that I hear and what goes on I won't share names or anything um, but I'll probably as long as I take pictures of the tattoos, I'll show you pictures of what's up there. Because I think it might help you guys. Because I have people email me like, what should I get a tattoo of? I, I don't I don't know what means something to you. And like people will be like, oh you have Mac tattooed on your wrist? Well that's stupid. Why would you do that? Why would I do it? because it's something I'm really into and it means a lot to me. Just because it doesn't mean a lot to you doesn't mean it can't mean something to me. And they are. They're really different and unique to people. Like, it's so different for everybody. You can't say, you know, that's acceptable to like with anything, really. So, 
I've been thinking about that lately, and I, th I think I want to write that out. I have a pad of paper at work that I can write stuff down in, so I'll try to do that, and I'll try to, as often as I can, put in something new. So once I get that going and I'm working on that better, I hope you guys will check it out. My nose itches. Yeah. Um, other than that, I got a sponsorship, sponsorship, through Glamour Doll Eyes. So they're sending me some of their makeup to work with and see how I like it. So, I'll be making some videos about that for you guys. Um, if you're wondering anything about that company, check out their website. Um, I know I used to get messages saying that they did a bunch of repackaging along with the Lime Crime stuff. Um, so, I did check it out, and I had never heard of the company before that. But, when I checked out the company and I checked out her videos, she tells you... Yeah, some of them are repackaged, but it says so right on her website. It says exactly what they are. If it's something that she custom blended, it says it's custom blended. So, I mean, take a look at them. Um, the prices are they're definitely reasonable. Um, way better than Lime Crime. Lime Crime is like twice as much, literally. So, I'll get them in. I'll see how I like them. Um, I'll show you guys some looks with them, and yeah, so we'll just go from there. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations for makeup companies for me to check out, um, I would love to hear it. I probably won't be able to order any makeup until after April, that's when my vacation is, to California to visit the family. So I've been saving, 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 saving all of my money. I went and paid the landlord for the next three months so that I'll be paid through my vacation so that way all the money I put away now can just go towards saving for vacation so um, but I do have an, an outstanding credit card bill so that's why I'm doing this sale on Etsy so I can get that bill paid off and hopefully share some of my creations with you guys so take a look at those videos um, if you want to chat, follow me on Twitter if you're Twitter people. I respond to everybody that tweets to me because I honestly do like talking to you guys. You guys are really cool. Um, I'm sure I'm dragging on and I look and sound like poop, but it's 11 o'clock. My bedtime's like... 11. I've been up for a really, really long time. <laughs> so I'm getting tired. But um, hopefully you guys enjoy. Check out some of the stuff. Um, and I just wanted to take some time to really honestly thank you guys. And I really do mean it. And that's kind of why I'm so open and honest with you guys is because you guys are so sincere and so sweet. And you've been so accepting and kind of everything with me. And I really do appreciate it. Every single viewer I have, I do appreciate. And I plan on holding a contest very soon again. And um, I think I'm just going to open it up to anyone that's a subscriber. So, we'll put more details on that soon. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Check me out on Twitter, Formspring, Facebook. I'll let you be a friend on my personal Facebook because you guys really do mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching. Bye.